I'm answering your questions about solvent cement on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. Be sure and check out Midwest Model Railroad. With some of the best prices and customer service in the business, they're your one-stop model railroad shop. MidwestModelRR.com. Link in the description. Well, over time, I have gotten a ton of questions about the solvent cement that I use, what type I use, how I apply it, and exactly when I use it. Well, today I'm going to try to answer some of those questions. And uh, the, my answers kind of revolve around this question that I got on one of my scratch building uh, videos from Albi25. He asks, is that quick acting cement that you use the same thing as plumbers use on PVC pipes? That stuff is a lot cheaper than hobbyist cement, but if it's going to chew through the structure, well, not so good. I saw that you used acetone on the plexiglass skyscraper, and I wondered if that would also work on styrene. Well, you asked several good questions there, Albie, and I'm going to try to answer them and try to clear up a few things about solvent cement and about what is really ideal to use as a solvent cement uh, whenever we're gluing styrene together. First, let's talk about that PVC pipe cement that you asked. You ask whether it's the same thing or whether it will work as well as regular hobbyist cement. And the answer is yes and no. Yes, that it is a similar product in that it probably has some of the same solvents in it that the solvent cement that we would buy for hobby use has. The problem is that PVC pipe cement uh, is a mixture of solvents and fillers designed specifically to work on a specific type of pipe. There's one type of a solvent cement that's used for PVC and CPVC pipe. ABS pipe has a different kind of solvent, a different mixture of solvents and a different mixture of fillers. Now, those uh, particular cements tend to be very thick and also are very aggressive for that very heavy and, uh, and, and very sturdy PVC pipe that they are designed to work on, a little too intense for most of our purposes uh, when it comes to hobby use. The, the good news is that the same solvents that are used in that PVC pipe uh, cement are also the same solvents that are used in many hobbyist cements. So perhaps there is a less expensive option. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Now, some of the common solvents that are used in hobby cement are MEK, methyl ethyl ketone, uh, acetone, and also uh, something known as dichloromethane. Also in the past, uh, 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 a solvent known as methylene chloride was used in some hobby cements. When I first got into the hobby, uh, I bought a bottle of Ambroid Pro Weld. And I'm going to tell you that to this day, it was absolutely the best solvent cement I've ever used for hobby purposes. It used methylene chloride in it. But the methylene chloride had vapors that could be harmful. And so ultimately it fell uh, into, uh, it fell out of use and is no longer produced. Uh, a lot of the, the solvents that we use for, for solvent cements contain MEK or methyl ethyl ketone. In fact, it's probably the most common solvent in the hobby solvent cements that, that we use. Today on the market, uh, several several types of hobby uh, cement uh, use MEK, in, including uh, Micromark Same Stuff, Flexifile so Solvent Cement, Tenax uh, 7 r which is no longer on the market, but you can still find in some places. Uh, all of those are, are, are good uh, hobby solvent cements, uh, but they all have that same problem that Albie mentioned. They tend to be rather expensive. Well, what I discovered a long time ago is that 
you can buy MEK by the quart uh, at about any hardware store that saw, sells paint and, and paint thinner and, and those kinds of solvents. And it's fairly inexpensive to use. In fact, I bought a quart can of it uh, over two years ago, and I feel like I've barely used any. It will, will nearly last a lifetime, depending on how much structure building you, you do and how much you are actually uh, uh, welding plastic together with it. Now, Albie also mentioned the acetone, which I used on the plexiglass uh, skyscrapers that are behind me. And acetone is also a solvent that's used in some hobby solvent cements. Personally, I've never tried acetone on uh, uh, styrene to styrene applications, but I've got a little bonus video for those of you who are channel members on the enthusiast level. I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison uh, of MEK and acetone gluing styrene to styrene, ABS to ABS, and acrylic to acrylic to see which works the best and which has the, the, the best looking results. If you're not a channel member and you would like to get a little more out of Ron's Trains and Things, you might consider that. Click the little join button down below the video and you'll get all the details right there. So the question comes back to what is the best solvent cement for us to use in the hobby? And I don't know that there's one key pat answer to that, but for my use personally, I find that MEK bought uh, from a hardware store used straight out of the can, as long as it's used carefully and is used sparingly, works extremely well. And it's what I use all the time. It is my go-to solvent cement. And I highly recommend that you try it. Well, now that you have some information about solvent cements, Here's a link to some scratch building videos where I used solvent cement and you can learn how to use it as well. Also, if you're looking for solvent cement, try checking the Amazon pick of the week in the description down below and check out all the other great links down there as well. Well, if you'd like some more Model Railroad content right now, check out the links on your screen. And be sure and join me each Tuesday as I bring you even more great Model Railroad videos and I look forward to seeing you then. Tim, Lizzie?